One thing we're gonna make use of for Windows and Mac is the Docker toolbox. So rather than going out and finding all the different applications we'll need to get Docker running on a non-Linux system, Docker's actually put out a nice grouping of programs called the Docker toolbox. So what you do is you get the Docker toolbox and then you install it and we'll see how that works. But let's talk about what is included inside of the Docker Toolbox. There are several applications that are included here. So the first one is the Docker Client. This is going to be the command line, the basically the way that we interact with Docker. And again, we're using the command line because so many of the examples of using Docker go through the command line. Basically, a lot of people are using Docker straight off of Linux and the commands we're going to use are going to be Linux commands, but it's going to be as if we're sitting on a Linux box. So when you want to take what you learn here and extend it through a lot of the examples that are out there, you'll have some familiarity with how to run those commands off of a Linux command prompt, basically. Then we have a Docker machine. So we're going to see what this is in detail in just a little bit. There's the Docker Compose. We have Kinematic and finally VirtualBox, which is a key component to gluing all of this together, to making the Linux installation run on a Mac, basically. So let's look at these in detail. Not listed was the Docker engine, and the Docker engine is an important component of this. Basically, it's like the runtime for Docker. So inside of the Docker engine, the structure of this is that it allows you to have your app, you have the bins libs under that, then here's Docker engine sitting underneath the bins libs, and finally there's that infrastructure of the file system, networking, so that infrastructure stack is there. So this is where Docker engine sits inside of a container. And next we have our Docker client. So again, this is our communication into Docker. Then we have the Docker machine. This is for provisioning on other machines, maybe in a cloud environment for setting up your Docker installation. Also, it allows for communication between the Docker client and Docker engine. Then we have Docker Compose. This is another tool in the toolbox. This is allows you to, to manage multi-container applications. So if you have multiple containers, rather than trying to manage each one individually, you can kind of manage them as if they're just one application. It makes this kind of distributed environment a lot easier to manage, is basically what Docker Compose does. Then we have Kentomatic. So this is a graphical user interface for Docker. I don't see too many examples out there using it. So again, we're going to use the command line because there are so many examples already available of how to do that. So now we come to VirtualBox, which you do get inside of the toolbox. And VirtualBox is like a virtual machine. It's very lightweight though, and great for running installations of Docker on Windows or on a Mac. And it helps with the mapping of ports, um, networking ports from Docker on Linux into Windows and then into a Mac machine as well. So I think VirtualBox is put out by Cisco. So there's a company that puts VirtualBox out and it's used for a lot of other things than using it for Docker. So it, it's like a virtual um, machine program and that's what a lot of people were using before the toolbox came along to get Docker up and running because it is so lightweight and it kind of sticks with the theme of Docker. So containers are very lightweight. They're not virtual machines, but they're similar in a way to how virtual machines operate. But again, Docker is all about being lightweight, about a lot of speed and creating containers and how quickly they start up. So VirtualBox falls right in line with that concept of speed and lightweight.